Welcome to SCN Corporate Connect. I'm Greg Greenberg reporting live from the NASDAQ market site. And today I'm here with Graham Goddard. He's the CEO of All Public Art. Welcome, Graham. Thank you, Greg. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. It's good to have you. Well, All Public Art mixes the blockchain with the online art market. Why is this such a good combination? Sure. So All Public Art uh, is, for years, since 2015, we've been developing a community for artists. And right now we're seeing that blockchain and its, its power as a distributed ledger will allow for verification of artworks and for, will allow for transparency within the art community. Well, you mentioned verification of artwork. That's been a problem that's plagued the art market for a long time. Counterfeiting is a very big deal. Talk about how all public art and the blockchain is going to fight against that. Sure thing. Yeah, so the blockchain is uh, a, a place where transparency is key. Trust has been a huge issue in most markets in general, and especially in the art world. Um, so as transactions come in and out of the blockchain, uh, everyone can see it. So on our platform, we have an API connected to the blockchain with a, a, an all public art token that we're creating that will allow for everyone to uh, basically see these transactions. And uh, for us, uh, that will help with price manipulation, with counterfeit art and so on, because everything, everything can be seen. So and very, it establishes very valuable. the provenance of the particular piece of art, so you know exactly where it was. That's right. Everything is stored, all the data is stored, and our API will be collecting a lot of, of these transactions information, which, which is really, really uh, refreshing for the art community. Usually, art appraisers do this job. Uh, for us, we, you know, the blockchain is, is, is a great opportunity. Or they the don't do that job, of course. <laughs> Sometimes. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about the artists. Are the benefits from all public art and the blockchain going to trickle back down to the artists like yourself? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, when, when a collector identifies a work of art that they want to purchase or, or trade their art, art token for, all public art token, uh, the artist receives that token and we on the platform on all public art will be incentivizing these artists uh, to basically use their tokens to get art supplies and to get materials for their studios at, at really great rates. So um, the token will be really, really beneficial for, for artists and we're excited to, to have them use it. And can you talk about your token timeline? 2018 is just around the corner. Where are you going to be next time this year? Yeah, so ooh, next time this year. Um, <laughs> at this time next year. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. So this time next year, um, we will have a platform that's blooming. Um, we'll have a huge community of artists using the, the uh, All Public Art token. We'll have galleries that are um, using the All Public Art token to verify artworks and, and, and look at the provenance of the artworks that they're sharing. Um, and the token sale will have been done. So in Jan on January 18th, uh, we're going to be having a private pre-sale. Uh, uh, and then on January uh, 23rd, we'll have the, uh, the token sale and people will be able to basically purchase these tokens and early, early uh, purchasers, they'll be getting bonus, bonus tokens as well. So, All right, yeah. and then finally, where is the online art market right now? Are, are people spending their money on Bitcoins or on stocks <laughs> or are they buying art? People are buying art. People are buying art. And it's a very, very healthy time for the art community. Uh, th last year, uh, 2016, according to Bloomberg, the, uh, the online sales were about $9.8 billion. Um, and that's a 24% rise from the year before. Sotheby's, for example, they, they sold $155 million worth of artwork online, which was a 20% raise from 2015 for them. So really healthy market. And um, by 2020, you know, they're, they're expecting to see some really great numbers as well. So all public art is in a position to do some fantastic things within in the art game uh, with blockchain. And uh, what's different about this is us being able to verify, us being able to see through this transparent distributed ledger all that's happening. And that's a very exciting time in art history because ne it's never been done before. Well, you're certainly yeah. painting a very pretty picture. <laughs> Thank Thanks you, for coming on and talking about it. it. Pleasure. And thank you for watching SCN. Corporate Connect.